Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Welcome back everybody to my channel. It's so great to see you all. And as you can tell, I'm finally almost over this darn cold. It lasted like two weeks and I finally have no congestion, but I still have a little cough that catches me every now and again. But today I thought I'd do a little vlog style. I'm home by myself. My daughter's off at a wedding. Um, her boyfriend's uh, stepbrother is getting married today, so she's going to the wedding and helping out quite a bit with all the details and everything to get every, uh, the space ready today. And I'm here at the house. I've been doing a lot of uh, decorating to get my house back the way it was before uh, Christmas, and I kind of wanted to show you some of the things I've been working on. We're having a very, very dreary day today. I don't know if you can see. Well, it's not going to see out there how, oh, it's just overcast and nasty. We had a bad, bad storm come through last night, and I know a lot of that's hitting the rest of the country going east, and I know they had a bad, um, like some uh, tornadoes uh, near Louisiana, somewhere in Louisiana, uh, close to us. Um, I feel bad. We had some areas here in the Houston area that got, you know, where they had some trees down and things of that nature, so it's not been good. But anyways, um, I'm just here today. I was going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing around the house. And I also have a little something I wasn't going to show you. I um, bought some more um, like planner stuff from my planner because I'm going to start working on that. And I might bring you some videos on that. I'm kind of walking around my kitchen. Um, anyways, I, did, I have been decorating a little bit, so I kind of wanted to show you what I've been up to. Um, first off, let's walk back over this way. I was going to show you... We, um, I finally got my Christmas tree down, and I bought these. These are, I've got my nine-foot tree, and it's divided between these two. Um, I bought these at Walmart just the other day. They were like $27.58 or something like that. They were $27 each. And my tree, um, two parts fit in one, and another part fits in the other. Now, they are kind of, um, they could have been wider, um, I really had to smush my tree in there the best I could without hurting it. And so we're going to bungee cord these before we take them to the storage because um, we did start a storage for all the Christmas stuff. And as I decorate through the seasons, um, I'll be taking that over there. I don't know how much I will be decorating to tell you the truth. Um, I wanted to show you we've got these chairs sitting in here because of last night's storm. They said we were going to have like almost 75 mile an hour winds and we didn't want stuff blowing around, so we brought all the chairs in, Amy and I did, and set them here in the entryway for the time being. So I've got to take those back outside. And then this is a box of Christmas that we missed. <laughs> it happened to be sitting in the family room when we were taking all the stuff, and I totally forgot about it. But anyway, so that's why we've got the chairs there. But anyways, there's my Christmas tree, so I'm so happy about that. But one of the things I wanted to show you, I bought these rugs, and I only got three. Um, I'm going to use these here in this house when we put it on the market to have nice new neutral rugs on my floor. So I got three of them. They were like eight, eight, uh, eight dollars and something at Walmart. And I bought only three, three of them. Or did I get four? I got three, and I actually need four because I have four doors. As you can see here, when you this is the gate, you know, for the dog. Um, when we come in, you know, we have a door there that goes out to the well, that one goes to the garage, and that one goes out to my side porch there. And then we've got two more that are over the other way. But anyways, let me get back to me. Yes, uh, so anyways, that's uh, what we've been doing. So I've got to get all my chairs back outside. I've got a bin down um, here that um, for my Valentine's stuff. So I'm going to start decorating for Valentine's Day, so be watching for that. Um, let me kind of show you what I have been doing around here. Um, I guess I'll start in this other room. Let's walk back into the kitchen. Um, I put put stuff back, and I did add a few things, so I wanted to kind of show you what I've been up to. Okay, so we're in our, my family room. And over here, and I'm sorry it gets so dark in here. It's just really kind of dreary today, and I don't have a light. But this, I used to have this sitting kind of over here, and this was over here, and then I had a stack of two books there and a, um, a lamp. Um, I took the lamp out because I'm going to paint it white. Um, let me show you. This is the lamp I took out. 
this one. And it's, um, you know, kind of bronze and stuff, and I'm gonna change out this. Um, so I'm gonna paint this white, and then I'm gonna get some kind of a shade, some different shade for it. And then maybe I will put it back over here. But right now it looks very clean, and, you know, uh, it needs something to sit there. <laughs> I didn't change these much. Um, I left those the same after I put my stuff back. I've got my dogwood up there, and you know I've had that clock, and of course the cotton, and all that stuff's pretty much the same. I did put my mantle back. I don't know if you remember. Some of y'all are new, so maybe you don't know what my mantle looked like. I've got my green bottles with the uh, beaded things around the neck and um, lamb's ear. And then I've got candlesticks and some birds and some lamb's ear garland back there. And for right now, I just put greenery in these little cans. And I got a bird there and then another bottle and stuff. But what changes I made were kind of over here. Um, I already had this up here, and I did put that up there recently with more um, dogwood flowers in it. But I kind of switched some of this stuff around. Um, that one's there. I had another um, can, a watering can that had cheer on it, so I had to put that away for Christmas. Um, I did put that ball up there next to the K, and then I moved my birdhouse over here, and it's kind of just sitting on a book, and I brought this down. It was um, up on this level before at Christmas time, and I brought it down here, and it just has a simple candle in it, and then a little bird in a nest, um, and then the high, and this is kind of... Um, Pretty much, well, I put it back the way it was. Then I've got that sign I got from Decocrated that says home right now, and I've got the letters so I can change it to love. And then down here I've got this little milk bottle thing that my sister gave me and a bird, but this is new. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got this sign the other day. Isn't it cute? It just says, uh, bless our home, and it has beads, and it's just um, got the brown wood. It's got a little bow on here that holds the beads. Um, let me see how much it was. It was $17.98, and it was in the spring section, so it was 40% off. But I needed something down here. This particular one, I didn't have anything in here. And then I got this beautiful green glass. I absolutely love green glass. And I um, this darn thing was like $20 something, dollars, $24. And it's not very big, um, but I did get it um, half off because it was the all the tabletop decor was on sale. But anyways, I just set that there with some lamb's ear in it. So I think I like my shelves. I think they look kind of nice, very simple, and, um, you know, a lot of white. But I think that's going to gonna be nice for when we have the house up for sale, you know. Um, over here on here, I just put out these white flowers again for the time being. Um... I don't know if I'll change that for Valentine's Day. Um, I, probably not. I'll probably just leave that. And on my tray, I just kept my lantern real simple. I didn't put no bow on it or anything like that because of, you know, we're probably going to be listing this house here in the next couple months, so I wanted everything to look nice. Now, I will decorate, like I said, for Valentine's Day. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and over here, um, this was the jar. You know, I had to replace that green one because it got broke. Um, so I put these flowers in it that I showed you I bought, and they looked nice, and then I just got, I cleaned my can candle. Look how sparkly that is. I used that spray away glass cleaner. It works like so good. And so that's that. And I really didn't change anything else. Let me walk over this way. And of course my husband's computer's sitting there. He's not here right now. Um, so on the table, I had picked this up um, from the dollar spot here, oh gosh, before Christmas. And it's, it kind of it kind of reminds me of summer, but I didn't have another um, runner here that would, would not look like fall or whatever. But I put my white sunflowers out just because I love them. And then I did do my hutch. Um, I got it all decorated back up, and I kind of like how it looks. Of course, I've had, you know, this for a long time in my farm sweet farm and of course I have two of these now I have one with a chicken and then the other one's got a cow on it just some greenery and of course I put some lambs here inside there don't have anything in there and then down here I have my blessed at home and then the cow one and then here I stuck this blue and white um, 
towel in there and of course just put some white daisies in there. I know this it it doesn't it doesn't scream spring, but it has a little spring touches in it and I don't mean to do that. I just was trying to add white. But so anyways, that's how that's looking. And then after Christmas, you know, I had gotten um some of this right done. So this is how I did this little area. I just put some Oh, I put some of those little balls in there that you can get at Dollar Tree. And um, so I've got those kind of stacked in there and a little bit of uh, lamb's ear and some succulents. And then my sweet and poor and another succulent. And I think that looks kind of cute, but simple but cute. And then here I put my Ray Dunn mugs up here. I have my coffee one, one that says Kim, and I think this one says Super Mom. Um, I did that. And then over here on my island, and I'm sorry if I'm going fast, um, I decided at Christmas, you know, I had a, a, I had a Ray Dunn piece here that said Santa, Mrs. Santa something or something like that, and I had a tree in it, and I had my truck sitting here and stuff, so I was trying to design this so it looks simple and cute. So I uh, put these white sunflowers in here with some greenery, and I think it looks cute. I like it. So I've just got it sitting there. I've got, I found these little succulents. Isn't that just adorable? It's in a glass. Um, where did I get these at? A dollar. I got it at Dollar General. Isn't that so sweet and cute? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then over here, and excuse this, we had to, this is other stuff we brought in from, from the storm. We didn't want those hanging out and get blown and the, la the lantern and another hangy thing. So, well, I'm going to be taking that back outside today. And I'm, this is a mess I'm going to show you in a minute. <laughs> but this is what I did to my um, two-tier tray. I basically, um, I left, I, um, I bought some of these houses, and this one doesn't look like Christmas. It's just a plain white house. And I put some of my plant in there and then some of these balls because they're so adorable and some lamb's ear and my salt and pepper shakers. I put my juicer back in here and my pinch and dash and some cotton balls and some other um, lamb's ear. And so that's how that's decorated. And I've got my little wreath there, the lamb's ear wreath. This stuff I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I put out my Life is Better on the Farm towels. And then over here, um, you've seen, well, those of you who have been with me know that I had this out. Um, I did add this house. And then I left the barn. Um, and, of course, I always have the perpetual calendar here. And then I didn't put anything down in here. I just left that the same. We've got our new um, treat thing for Braxton. But anyway, so that was that. And I put my sunflowers back up. Kind of crooked right at the moment. <laughs> um, but in, in here, in the dining room, um, I did change things up a bit, um, you know, well, shoot, I took a candle out of here because I needed one. I, I got to go buy a couple more can candles because I don't have one for there now. Um, I just put this, uh, bless this nest in there with a cotton wreath and left it at that and just left it very simple. Um, a couple pillows down there. And then the top here, um, I don't think anything's different about this because I added Christmas to this kind of. But this is how it normally looks, um, you know, with that greenery there and the black and white check stuff and of course that cute little lamb and um, you know I put some greenery in here and of course the eggs and so that's pretty much the same and up here I put that I had gotten a while back at Hobby Lobby it's one of those um, lavender I think lavender and then I put those up there that Kelly gave me my sister gave me those that pig and the cow over here and um, then that sign came with my decorated box recently, and it just says, Welcome to our home. So that's what I stuck up there. And I, um, for the table, I'm using my dough bowl, and I just stuck these smaller lanterns on here, and I have this plant sitting in a basket, and then I just decorated it with cotton and lamb's ear and left it at that. So that's the way that looks right now. And I don't know if all this will stay this way. Um, you know, I will have probably someone come in um, when we get the house ready to sell. And I've still got my wreaths here. But over here, I decorated this little two-tier tray. 
And uh, I just put lambs here in these two little pictures, and I have a little plant back there, um, a little sign that says, for me and my house, we'll ser we will serve the Lord, and some more, you know, lambs here, and uh, some of those little thingies. And then I got a succulent down here, and my cream and sugar, and some more of these little balls. So that's what I did there, and then I, in this thing, I got this from the Lakeside Collection. Um, I just put a lamb's ear, like, I think I got that in the, um, at Hobby Lobby, in the section where you can get the stuff for weddings, and this is like a candle ring, because it just fits around that. It's a candle ring um, that is lamb's ear. And then I wanted to show you what I did over here. Um, you've probably seen this before. I did change out this. This was a smaller plant. And, um, but I took, the, this is the, the house that Amy gave me for Christmas, so I really wanted to have it out. So I was able to get all this in the tray. <laughs> Luckily it fit. And then of course all my pillars, pillows are back on my couch. But I like that. I like how it looks together. And then the only thing I kind of changed was this. Um, on this sideboard, I used to have different things. Um, part of it is now in the bedroom, and I'll show you that. But I did up these two lanterns uh, yesterday, and I just stuck some of those extra flowers that I bought from Walmart, and I put a lot of greenery in there. And it looks very white and green and stuff. And then this is one of those wreaths that I've gotten in that farm book. Um, that farm, oh, that farm, what was it, is it called? Um, Antique Farmhouse? No, it's not that one. De decor Steels? It was like a surprise box. These came in it. And, um, but I don't like this yellow ribbon, so I'm going to take that off and change it to something else. And this is the tray I got from the decorated box, and I basically just left those books, you know, that I made. These were from Dollar Tree. And, of course, this is from Hobby Lobby, and just a candle and then another little bush uh, plant. But I picked up this home sign yesterday, or two days ago, and I thought it looked really cute. It kind of has, it doesn't really look Ray Dunn, but it's just kind of cute. It was, what's that say, $7.99? Yeah, $7.99 in the spring section. So I got it for 40% off that. But I think it looks kind of cute. So that's how that area looks right now. And of course, there's my magnolia wreath I made. And okay, y'all have been asking and asking and asking me about my gallery wall. So let me show it to you. All right, here's my gallery wall. I still have another um, something to put up there, but I think because we're selling the house, I'm not gonna bother. But I have that home sign, and um, I wanna say I got that maybe from Kirkland's. I'm not quite sure where I bought that. And then I've got two, you know, my high school graduation pictures of my kids. I've got this Bless Our Nest, and I picked that up at Dollar General. Um, this Grateful, Thankful, and Blessed, I'm sure that's from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think that's from Hobby Lobby. This family is from Dollar General. And then I just got this from, I think that's from Dollar General, too, this little sign. Um, this Gather one, I think, is Hobby Lobby. And then I put this basket with some greenery, just to add some texture and greenery. And then I've got that home sweet home sign right there. So that's the way my gallery wall work, looks right now. And I do, like I said, I have one more thing to put up at the top uh, above that home. But that's how it looks. And I'm sure when uh, we get moved to the new house, I'll do a gallery wall. But I'll probably be adding some different things to it, depending on how big the wall is, you know. And then over here, I um, just went back and... I hope this isn't falling off. <laughs> I've got a lamb's ear garland across here. Oh, sit up there. Well, anyways, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, before I know it, it'll be on the ground. But this is the way I had it last time, and with the birds and the lamb's ear and all that stuff. So I didn't change that much. So that's what I've been up to around here, trying to get my house together. Um, but I wanted to show you my bedding and what I did to my um, dresser. So let me show you the bed first. I'm excited. <laughs> I love how it looks. So hang on. Okay. This is the bed and the new bedding I have for it. Um, this bedding, I just love it. I'm going to give you a close-up of it. That's how it looks. It's kind of tucked. You know, it has a little tuck, pick, 
what do you call that, pin tuck or something? I don't know what you call it. And then it came with uh, the other pillow covers, and it came with these two pillows, but I bought that pillow here recently. I showed you it in a haul um, from TJ Maxx. So that's how the bed's looking. Um, this, I'm going to get rid of this when we move. Um, I think maybe in the meantime I may paint it white just so it looks nice in here when we have the house up on the market. And that's reason I went with the white so it would be clean looking. And, of course, we have to get new carpet. But I wanted to show you um, what I did on my dresser. Okay, this is the, um, you know, I had this out on that sideboard. And basically it looks pretty much the same. I just stuck this bird in here and, of course, my sweet little bird bath that I absolutely love. And then this was also sitting on that sideboard, and I raised up this and put my um, my heather there or, you know, my that little thing that I, I got that at Walmart, and then a little bunny. And then this is a little Ray Dunn tray, and, of course, I picked this up the other day. I showed you that. And then this I just recently got, a Ray Dunn um, clock, and then this I've had. I don't particularly like this because it's kind of country looking and I'm not going doing country, I'm doing um, farm. But that's how it looks and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyways, let's go back this way. And of course I got a ladder there because I'm fixing to start doing my wallpaper again. Oh, so much to do and so little time. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what I've been busy doing. That kind of thing and trying to fight this cold I've had and I'm feeling much better now and uh, let me get a drink real quick but let me show you um, some of the stickers I got and a couple of other things I picked up for Valentine's Day I've got them sitting over here on this counter so let me get set down somewhere and I'll show you this stuff because I'm loving the stickers they're so cute well let me get one thing picked up at a time. I'm going to have to carry this stuff over in here, and I'll sit down and chat with you for a minute. Let me lay this all stuff down. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get some color in here. I mean, it is pretty, like, white, white, white around here. And I'm, I do enjoy it, you know. It's different for me. Usually I do like color, so this is different having all this white around. But let me set this stuff down real quick, and then I will show you a little bit of a haul. It's not too much. What I'm excited to show you, and those of you who do planners, is this planning stuff that I got, because it is so, so cute. So cute. Okay, hang on. Let's get over here. And hopefully I can sit you down where I can show you this stuff. Okay, let's see. I don't know how much light I'm gonna have here. If I can get this to sit right there. Okay, anyways, so I went back to Walmart to get those um, things for the tree. And when I was there, um, I picked up, okay, on the island, I just showed you my sunflowers and the greenery and stuff. I wasn't sure I was liking that too much. And I thought it'd be nice if I had something else to put in there if I, you know, well, maybe when I decorate for Valentine's Day, I'll put this stuff in here. I bought, how many did I get of these? I want to say maybe 10 because they're so cute. If I never get it out of the bag, that is. Anyway, so, you know me, I like my flowers. Look at this. Is this not so pretty this is called lavender picks this is one pick look how big that pick is or how full it is 97 cents look 97 cents at walmart look how nice that is that's one pick and look at them as a group oh my god they're gorgeous aren't they 97 cents for these so I could put these in all kinds of vases and stuff, and it's very kind of country, or not country, but you know, it looks really real. I mean, it's very realistic looking, and that purple is so pretty. You know, purple is one of my favorite colors. 
I don't decorate it with it necessarily a lot, but I will with this because it's just pretty, 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 pretty. So yeah, I think I bought 10, but these are a great buy at Walmart. And I bought these at my other Walmart, not the one that's close to me, because my close to me, Walmart doesn't have a big like craft section, but the other one does. So um, when I was there, because that's where they had the Christmas tree totes, they did not have them at my Walmart or the one close. But these are so cute, aren't they? I just love them. Love them, love them, love them. So pretty. I'm trying to get them back in the bag so I don't get any... I mean, I don't know if there's going to be fallout on this, but um, my carpet's all clean, so I don't want it to get dirty. Okay, um, when I went back to Hobby Lobby, because um, it was the day I went to Walmart, and it's like right across the street, I picked up this sign. I told you I was trying to replace some of my signs. I'm just trying to get that sun out of there. Lights everywhere. Um, anyways, I got this cute sign that says love on it. And it's got red and white checked ribbon. I just thought it was really cute. It was $9.99 and none of the Valentine's stuff there is on sale. Oh my God, I'm looking so... See? Okay, well, let me keep my head over this way. <laughs> Anyway, so this is cute, isn't it? Because I'm going to replace a couple signs that I've had for a long time. This little thing just fell off the top of it. Anyway, super cute. So I picked up that sign. I was looking for one that was kind of vertical, but I couldn't find one, so I didn't get it to get one. And then I got one of these houses that um, Amy had picked up. It's a cute, just a little house that has a little heart, you know, so it's not really, doesn't scream at you, Valentine's. It does show heart, its hearts here where you have the roof and it's got the little, and it lights up. I don't have not pulled the thing out of it, but it'll blind you as well. But it's just a little house and super cute. So that might make it on a two tier, two tier tray or three tier tray or sit somewhere for Valentine's Day. And I'll probably be bringing that to you next week. Okay, I have to show you these stickers. I know a lot of you probably don't care. Um, maybe you're not sticker people or ones that do, um, you know, planners. But I picked up this Carp Diem, Carpe Diem sticker tablet. And it's for every month of the year. So it's got, like, here's the one for January. With all the blues and kind of teals and grays and then of course for February it's gonna be Valentine-y and I thought I'd use this these maybe for my month spread rather than the weekly spread because um, I could st stick them all over the month and make the month thingy look good because I really don't pay attention to that too much the month one but that's February and I look at March look how pretty that is with the bicycle and the polka dots and the green and the pink. So pretty. And then April is very pastel. Isn't that cute? Love it, love it, love it. Well, I don't want to show you all of them, but um, here's May. Aren't the colors just beautiful? Let me see. Whoops, then there's June. Look at the flamingo and the pineapples. <laughs> Look at that bathing suit up there and flip flops. Cute, cute, cute. Then they do this one that's more barbecue ish for 4th of July or for July. With the reds and mustard yellow and stuff. And then August is like this with popsicles and watermelon, bicycle, a van, a little banner. And then, of course, you're going to get into the fall and the Christmas stuff after that. So anyways, super cute, and you get every month of the year. So I think I'm going to do my month plan um, with these because it looks so cute. So cute. All right. Okay, I really like, and I showed you these before, um, my Christmas and my fall sticker sets that I got from Carpe Diem, Simple Stories. They are so, so cute. Well, I couldn't find, or they're probably not out yet, because I think they come out 
at certain times. They didn't have a spring one out for uh, Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem, I, I'm probably saying it wrong. But I was able to get a fall, I, uh, a winter one. So let me open this up real quick. I know my, this video is going to be kind of long. Let me see if I can get it open here. I won't show you everything because I know it'll take too long. Let me see if I can get it out of the bag. Okay, so for, whoop. first it came with this washi tape. And what does that have on it? It's a little house, barns. Remember, it's winter. It's for their winter. So it came with that. It came with a little thing. These are like um, just little die, what are they called, die cut pieces? Bits and pieces that I can glue into my planner. You know, it's got all kinds of stuff. Here, here's what it shows it's in there. I don't know if you can see that. Is that even coming in clear? I don't know. But it's just a bunch of pieces you can use in the planner. These are um, chipboard stickers or chipboard. And you do have to put like, you use a glue stick to glue it on. But look at that with the mittens, how cute. And then a window and then got that heart. Um, there's the barns. Those are the ones that are on the, the washi tape. See how that matches with the washi tape? Whoops. So there's the, those are um, chipboard pieces. And then here's the sticker sheet that you get one in these simple stories. Aren't those stickers just adorable? So they got these um, like words down here and then they got all the stickers here. They've got a snowman, the truck. What's that there? I can't see. It's hard to look at things backwards. Um, but all kinds of cute and snowy trees and all kinds of things to put in my planner for wintertime because, you know, especially this month and February and March, it's cold in Texas. But cute, cute. So this is the... Carpe diem, carpe diem, I don't know how you say it. And then they have, you know, of course this is really kind of good for scrapbookers too. They have um, these. And what I do is I just glue them into my planner. These are a little bit big for my planner. But then on the other side is this if you wanted to use that for scrapbook paper. Then they've got one that's just got wreaths on it on one side and then it's got these on the other side and these are the more the size I can actually get into the planner look at the fireplace and the snowman cute and then I'm just gonna quickly show you here's one that's kind of this kind of a brown with flowers and then on the back you have these smaller ones and I'll use these too because they're smaller because they'll fit you know in my planner well and then they've got one with this bird. It's just a plane. It's got a little bit of something up there. And then on the back, it's this. I think that's a, I don't know. It's kind of, it's a check, but it's, I think it's kind of maroonish colored. And then you have this one. On the other side, it's like this. I'm trying to go fast because I have another one to show you and then this one and then on the back it looks like this and then you got a black and white check which I love that or, yeah it's black and white and then on the other side it's like this with the flowers and then there's this one that's just got like snowflakes on it and the other side is just plain like barn wood. And you got this one that has, what does that have on it? Oh, I guess it's upside down. Trees. Winter trees. And then a polka dot on the back. And then this one has, it's upside down too. What is that? Just snowy scenes. It's got a sleigh and... That kind of thing on it. I, my hand is shaking, I'm sorry, when I try to hold it up like this. And then it's checked on the back. And there's 
this one has that seam. And then the back is this. And then there's this one with the small little things on it. Isn't that cute? Look at those pictures. Oh, look at the coffee cup. Wreaths. Black and white. Cute, right? Aren't they adorable? Anyway, so that's from uh, Carp Diem, Carp Day. Carpe Diem, I don't know the name of it. I'll have to put this up later because I don't want to hold you up. But anyways, it comes with all that stuff. And um, I bought it on Amazon. If I can think, I will link it for you. So that's all of that one. Now, like I said, I couldn't find a spring one. So I found this new one. This new, um, it's called Cartabella Paper Company. Right there, it says Cartabella Paper Company. And it's a big package, and it's got, um, I'm going to open it up because I don't know. But this is very, um, it's almost scrapbooking kind of stuff, and I don't do scrapbooks. I probably could, but I don't. Of course, my kids are older now. Maybe I'll do scrapbooks for my, my, um, my grandkids someday. Okay, this is just a sheet that shows you everything that's in there on the front. So, this is a sticker page. Now look how cute. Look at the truck. Very pretty. Can y'all see? Look at the flowers and the wreath and the bicycle. And that says joy. Got some boots. Super cute stickers. So you have the stickers and then um, they're going to be quite the, I think, kind of the same. They've got these big ones. Aren't the colors just really pretty? I just love the colors. Now this is for spring. And then the back looks like this. Ooh, I don't know if these all get mixed up. Okay, and the rest of this I think is, let's see what we got here. i get them apart. Here's a pretty page. Look at that color, isn't that gorgeous? All those flowers, I love it. And then this one's really pretty with the vines. And then we got another page with some pictures on it. Aren't those cute? So fun, so fun. This one has rain boots. Just this page is rain boots on that side. And then it's pink flowers on that side and then these I guess you can um, I can cut these out on a thing and use them you know cut little pictures out whatever I want to do so this is more it goes across like this because you got your trucks you got boots and I could use my um, I have a you know a, a paper cutter and I could use this stuff and glue it in or whatever so I get a lot of use out of this one I think and then of course on the other side they have this And this one is like this. And on the back, it's just uh, like white plank wood. And then they've got one here with stuff like that. And again, I can cut these out and use them and just glue them into my planner. And the back of this is like this. And then here's this page, and it's black and white striped on the uh, back. Here's that. What is that? Little vases. And there's a bunch of those, so you can cut these out and use them. And then the back. And of course, I could use these if I had. I don't have any of those like die cutter thingies where you can make shapes. I probably should buy some. And then I could um, use those in my planner as backgrounds, you know, for this and that and the other. But very cute. This one's cute. Look at the green and white check. I love that. And then the back is like this. Isn't that pretty? And then we've got this one. These are like tags. And, of course, I could cut these out. 
And then on the back here, they have just a bunch of words. And then here is the trucks and then the market looking thing. So that was um, Cartabella is the name of it. So cute and I love the stickers. Now it didn't come with any washi tape or anything, but it was another fit place that I found on Amazon. Anyways, we're up at 40 minutes, so I guess I'll let y'all go, but I wanted to show you what I was doing around here and how I changed things. Let me get a drink. <laughs> and so next I'll be doing my, probably my Valentine's. Um, I'll start decorating for Valentine's and um, maybe I'll, I'll do a little Valentine decorating with you and then I'll do my Valentine's home tour. I already have my bin down out of the attic, so I'm ready to get going. And I'm excited. I mean, I'm liking my white. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Phew. Uh, all that stuff, excuse me, all that stuff that comes from the West, you know, brings that mountain cedar and I'm allergic to it. So anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you all for stopping by and for hanging with me for this 40 something minutes. I appreciate it. I kind of wanted to do something a little vloggy style today. I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully we could do some more of that in the future. So y'all, take care. I love you, love you, love you. And I will see you next time. Have a happy, happy rest of your weekend. Bye.